watching Big Drone Flyer 77RC. When we come back, I have the DroneCon. This is the DC-08 GPS drone. Hey, welcome back everybody. Donnie here, and today I have the DroneCon. This is the DC-08. As you can see already, it looks a lot like the SEMA X8 Pro, uh, but this one is actually quite a bit different in some ways. Uh, Definitely with the propellers uh, and, and also uh, the camera as well. So uh, you'll also see that the battery is different size so you can interchange uh, the, the X8 Pro with this uh, uh, DC-08. They are different in size. So as you can see the Drocon battery is 7.6 volt. 3000 milliamp when the X8 Pro and X8 SW battery is 7.4 volt 2000 milliamp battery so it is a different size and different connectors. I just want to show you real quick how this thing looks in the box. It comes packaged really nice. They definitely did a good job on packaging this thing, which is pretty cool. They got the all the individual boxes looking like a uh, a drone itself just like the uh, the DC-08 so I'm gonna get everything out of the box I just wanted to show you how it was packaged I thought it was pretty a pretty good job how they did this so like, let me get everything out we'll take a look at everything and then we'll go out for a flight test and see how well this GPS drone flies so stay tuned all right we got everything out of the box we got the controller you got four uh, propeller guards over there which just clip on they're super easy I'm not gonna put those on but they just have a little clip on here it just snaps right in at the end here of the drone so I'm gonna go without those but if you're new and beginner to drones uh, I would definitely put those on if I were you uh, you got the camera that's just gonna plug in and then it just slides and snaps right in it has a little gimbal in here to move it up and down and you can put a uh, class 10 uh, you want to put like a 32 gigabyte SD card right in there so it's got a built-in DVR in there so here's the camera mine's got a little bit of glue on there it's not scratched it's just some glue um, I'm gonna clean that off before I go for the flight uh, you do have eight propellers four that go on and then you got four spare which these ones are pretty easy to put on you guys uh, if anybody uh, knows about like DJI's and things like that uh, these are, are pretty similar they just push on and lock so I don't have much room right here on the table but I'll show you that uh, when I get out to the field and pop one off and show you how to put that on which is pretty simple same with the landing gear <clears throat> landing gear it just snaps right on you guys and then when you want to take off you just push down on that and they slide right out so it's actually pretty simple I can actually put that on uh, real quick for you and it just snaps in so on this it's it got everything just easy access to take apart for uh, traveling so that way you don't have to sit there and and have this all assembled uh, if, when you go and travel somewhere it just packs up real easy and and you can put it away so that's why they have everything that just snaps right in so I'm going to put these on really quick here. Put these on really quick here if I can. That one's a little stiff on there, but it should snap in. There we go. I've got much room. i got a little rack right above me here, so that's what it keeps hanging up. So there's the landing gear on there. Uh, the proprietary battery, I'll show you that. So here's the proprietary battery, which is... Uh, this one is 7.6 volt, 3000 milliamp. So it is definitely a lot bigger than the X8 Pro's battery. So uh, that just snaps in and out. So make sure you push that in and, in and release it when you go to pull the battery in and out, but it just snaps in real easy. There we go. And then you got your on and off button here in the front. You'll hold that for a few seconds. We'll do that when we get out at the park. Um, has a USB charger which just plugs into the battery on here it's pretty slow uh, so it's gonna take a while to charge you can actually go and charge this thing uh, with your hobby grade charger but you're gonna have to use 
alligator clips. So I believe uh, if I remember right, it's positive on this side and negative on this side. So you can actually clip some alligator clips in there and then run the balance charger on here, which will probably take maybe 40 minutes or less to charge it. So it doesn't take very long. I like that a lot better than the stock one. And then you know you, you're getting it fully charged. So um, I do recommend getting the Hobby Grade charger. So uh, the camera, pretty simple, you guys. It's just a snap-in as well. You want to plug in a couple of these plugs here first. One's bigger than the other. So you'll definitely know uh, which... Uh, which spot to put it in and plug it in so that way you, you don't get it in the wrong spot once I one's only got uh, was it three pins and the other one's four I believe so so you won't you won't plug it in wrong and it can only go one way if you try to plug it the opposite way it won't it won't go it won't lock in there so that's that you're gonna just go over the wires here and there's a there's a space under the camera so you're not going to pinch the wires and that just locks in right there you guys so now you can see that it's locked in there's a little button you just press it and the camera will slide back out so that's how that goes so pretty simple easy to set up um, you got the owner's manual here that's going to tell you everything you need to know how to calibrate it which the calibration is in the app the app is uh, DroneCon um, this one is, let me get it right, I want to make sure I give you guys the right one here. Um, let's see here, it is DroneCon Go. So you want to down, download DroneCon Go on your iOS or Android device. And it does have to be 5G Wi-Fi uh, network and not cell phone network. I get a lot of people asking that question, it's two different things. Uh, the the drone is actually putting out its own 5G network and your phone has to be able to have the capability of receiving that Wi-Fi from 5G. So uh, if you have an I, iPhone, it'd have to be uh, 5S or newer. And uh, Android, I'm not too sure, but I know a lot of the Galaxies. I know my Samsung uh, Tablet A has 5G network, so that would hook up to it. So just letting you guys know, if you try to hook it up and you don't have 5G on your phone, it's not going to uh, be able to get the Wi-Fi FPV. You won't be able to see the picture. Uh, so these ones, like I said, I was going to just show you out in the field, but I got a little bit of room here. You just line up and push down. And they have actually a little tool that it comes with, um, which you don't need the tool, but I just want to show you what the tool's for. Uh, they provide this so you can put it on this bolt here okay and then you just push down push down and on this one you want to for the a prop you want to turn to the left so now that's on there and I'm going to look for a B this one's another a so that'll go on the opposite side here now here's a B you're gonna get these little holes lined up in here you just kind of turn it until you can feel it go down and, and latch a little bit. Now I'm gonna push down and go to the right since it's a B propeller. Since they spin the opposite direction, but it shows you little diam uh, diagrams on the propellers and it labels A and B on the propeller as well. So let me get this turned around. Definitely gonna have to get a bigger table one of these times, you guys. I've been going through and trying to clear up some of my drone mess I have, so. That way I can set up a bench. I don't have a garage, so we're doing everything kind of on the table right here. So here's the tool again. You're gonna to go to the left with the A. That's latched in there. Now the last B one, if I don't lose the drone off of here. All right, that just fit down in there. And then we're gonna push down and go to the right. Okay, that's on there now. So now you got the propellers all set up on there. And that's what that tool's for. So that way, um, I mean, you can press down, put your fingers right here, press down, turn it, and get the propeller off real easy. But I just wanted to show you what the tool is for. So, and that's basically it, you guys. This thing's ready to go out on the field. Uh, I'm going to show you the controller, which comes with a little alligator clip. So this will slide off. 
If I can push that in, slide it off. There we go. Almost turned the controller on there. This just slides on and snaps in. Then you just push that to slide it back out. But it's an alligator clip, so you can hold a pretty wide phone there. Shut off my controller. Already put batteries in it. Uh, put the screw back in, but it takes three double A's and you have to provide those yourself, okay? Uh, for the controller here, um, in here it shows you what the, each function is for on the controller. So, um, so on here, it's, it's actually pretty simple. Um, this one right up here, this one is orbit me mode. All right, um, and the one directly across from it, that one is the one key follow. So this was the uh, follow me mode. This actually dial, if you go, I believe all the way to the right, locks it into GPS, which is kind of strange. I wish it was a button. So right here's the camera tilt up and down. And then on the back right here, uh, this one right here on, it would be on the left hand side in the back. That one there is um, uh, to take photos and pictures. So one click press, that's photo. You hold it for a few seconds, that'll start the video. Hold it a few seconds again, that shuts off the video. And make sure you shut it off the video before you shut the drone off or the controller or the battery goes dead or you'll lose your, your video. So it'll be corrupted, you guys. Uh, this one on the opposite side is return to home. So that'll be your return to home button. It'll be on the right hand side back here. So you press that and it'll start returning the home for you. As long as you have the GPS all locked in, uh, it'll, it'll go and land at where, you, uh, where your home point was, where you took off. So, all right guys, I'm pretty sure that is it. I covered all that. Uh, just a screwdriver they give you and a little quick startup guide for your Wi-Fi FPV. And that is basically it. Let's get out there and see how well this thing flies. Hopefully it does a lot better than that uh, uh, X8 Pro that SEMA had. Uh, I'll leave a clip up here. I'll leave a clip up here uh, uh, so you guys can see what happened to me with that uh, experience. Uh, uh, that thing was in pretty bad shape with the GPS. So, all right, guys, let's go out for a flight. Stay tuned for that. All right, guys, hey, I'm out here with the DroneCon. DC08 and I'm gonna do a uh, test flight it's getting pretty windy right now so this will be a good test the winds are gonna pick up to 12 miles an hour and then tomorrow it's gonna be 19 and then rain the rest of the week so I want to try to get this going here I'm gonna start my re screen recorder so let me get going here so I can be able to go to the Wi-Fi here and make sure that everything sets up here. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the drone by pushing this button for a few seconds here. Lights are flashing. I had to re-download the app a couple times for some reason and now it shows up. It was blank. So I've been trying to get on this thing and uh, so I went ahead and just shut my phone down, restarted it after uh, putting the app there and it seemed to come on. So all right, Wi-Fi has connected to the drone. It was the it was the DC08 shows up on the Wi-Fi here we go okay we're gonna press next and we're the DC 08 I see they got a 09 that's supposed to be coming out so looks like it's got a might be a two-axis gimbal on that one let me go ahead and connect all right I'm gonna allow it to use this why I'm uh, on the app okay so it's gonna do a, a gyro calibration just from the phone all right we're gonna go to the compass calibration here next. So I'm gonna set this down for a second here. And it wants me to rotate. The lights are flashing green and blue on top. Blue in the front, green in the back. Okay, it just beeped. Now it wants me to face the camera down. And then I'm gonna go ahead and rotate it. Okay. It says the calibration is done, you guys, so says that it's locked it's got uh, 11 satellites and it looks like it's ready to go you guys I'm gonna go ahead and press record I apologize about the sound that they're uh, pressure washing over there so hopefully hopefully you guys can hear me loud and clear so 
I'm gonna go ahead and unlock it and then I'm gonna actually put it in second rate first. There's second rate of speed because it's windy. So I'm gonna go ahead and unlock it, bring it up, make sure this thing's locked in, which it looks like it's locked in. Nice and steady. Here's the camera rotation. Let me bring it down a little. Wind's kind of trying to push it up. That's how you turn the camera down. All right. So I'm going to leave it about there. You can see the wind's pushing down. It's getting pretty windy, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and make it angry for a second and see how well the GPS is working. And the GPS is locked. You can see how windy it is here, you guys. It's still holding its ground. See it's tilting because of the breeze coming through. Now let's go ahead and take it for a test flight because uh, the battery's not too long on this. It's supposed to only be about uh, 10 to 12 minutes. You can see it's to the side here. I'm gonna go in the shade without stepping on my other drone here. I'm gonna do another review. That way I hope I get the sun out of uh, the camera. Yeah, you can see that thing tilted pretty good too. Looks like the Wi-Fi is holding up. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I went and modded the antennas a little. I went ahead and took them out of their casing and have them hanging down. Just so uh, I could get a better reception. Looks like I'm at 90 meters away. I'm going to go up a little bit more. i got a guy, he's actually cutting right now. So I'm going to stop to about that parameter there. A little bit more. And then I'm going to bring it back at 200 meters because I don't want to go too far. The school's right there. And you're just going to press this button here, you guys. So let's see what it does here. Looks like it's coming back pretty good. And it's still just facing forward. So it doesn't turn around. It just starts heading backwards. I should have started it out a little bit further so I don't get close to this tree. If it does, you just cancel it, you guys. Just can't find any shade today here to block this camera. Here it comes, you guys. Looks like the Wi-Fi, uh, some reason stopped once I press return to home. Look at that wind. It's holding its ground, you guys. That's really good. Here it comes. There it is. And I'm gonna stop because it's still going. Let me go forward. Yeah. It, <laughs> That was strange. Let me see what it does. No, it just backs up. Okay. I'm going to stop it right there. It looked like it was going to keep going uh, behind me here. So, I may have to try to do another takeoff point here. Let me go out a little bit further. Let me go out a little bit further here. Start a new uh, takeoff point here, you guys. Yeah, it was going to go into the trees here. Sorry about the sun. We still got no shade today. It's a nice day, just super windy, you can see. I better catch this guy. Because it's too windy. Alright, I'm going to catch this guy because it, it's going to flop over and chew up grass and everything. So, I'm going to try a different takeoff point here. So let's go ahead and try, I'm going to stop the camera, that way I have that restarted again. Let's try the button on the back here, you guys. Alright, it says it's starting to film. This is a lock GPS in and out, but I'm leaving the dial in the neutral position. So this is a, um, uh, a I believe this one is the follow me mode and this one is circle me mode or I could have those backwards I apologize guys we'll check it out though let's go ahead and fire this thing back up I'm gonna go out a little ways here I'm gonna just try to return to home just like right probably about right here I'm only about 50 meters 55 meters away I'm gonna press the button on the back see what it does this time here I'm not sure if it's why it's still going back so far. I'm gonna go ahead and see what it does. And it's still, oh, okay, it's gonna stop. There we go. I was just too close to the trees, you guys. So 
Let's see how close this thing is. It's probably about. Uh, it's moving closer. It just it just uh, scooted over. So what are we? Probably about uh, four meters away. Three, maybe three or four meters. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel it. So that ain't too bad. That ain't too bad at all. So that's only a couple meters away, you guys. It's not bad at all. All right, so let's go ahead and try the fall me. I'm gonna point the camera back down. For some reason it's like really skyrocketed up. <laughs> there we are. I'm gonna go back a little bit. Let's check this out. I'm gonna press right here. And that should be the fall me mode now. Let me tilt it down a little bit here. Try not to be in the sun. Let me turn around this way. Yeah, it's following me. There it goes. Yep, it turned and it's following me, you guys. So that is working. Let me go this way. And it is following me. Definitely working. And this darn wind and sun. I hope this video turns out good for you guys. Let me try to turn the other way. I'm going to shut that off. I'm going to try the uh, circle me. Let me go back a little ways here. It's this one here. Should be on. Oh, I thought that was a circle me here. Let me see what it does. Hold on. There we go. Oh, it just, oh, that's weird. There it goes. It just had a mind of its own. It like came straight for me and then finally decided it's gonna go ahead and circle. There we are. All right. Well, circle me is working. It's just kind of strange. <laughs> It's not the greatest thing, you guys. It kind of went a little haywire there, but it does work. And then you got to stop it to be able to uh, finish that function. Let me get a little closer. I'm going to press it now. See if that works. Wow. <laughs> Don't have it too close to you. Did you see that? I'm going to see if I can tilt the camera down while I'm going. Yeah, you can tilt the camera while you're going. Have some distance between you. Did you see it? It charged right to me. I had to move to the side and then it stopped and then it backed up. So yeah, definitely have some distance between you. That was pretty crazy. All right, now I'm just kind of going to go up and do a quick aerial. I don't know why my uh, film style, the battery's dead. That's why. It's showing no bar, so I better bring it back, you guys. I was gonna go. I was gonna go up and tilt the camera down a little bit here, and see what it looks like when it's tilted all the way down. There it is. That's about the only angle you get all the way down, you guys. So, so, yeah, the battery doesn't last very long. Just like the old SEMAs, you know, this is a SEMA X8 Pro clone, but with a different uh, version of the camera. Yeah, see, it's got a geo fencing now. It won't let me go any further up. So I'm only. Uh, 19 meet or 8 meters uh, 8 meters away and uh, 20 meters up and it stops at 20 meters I'm going to do a quick little pan around just so just so you guys can kind of see what the camera looks like so alright I'm going to go ahead and bring it down because it's pretty much done it's not going to it's not going to do anything else now that uh, it's got uh, the fail safe modes kicked in so all right, I didn't even get to try out. Yeah, I did try everything out. This one don't have point of interest, so that was pretty much it. Here comes the wind again, so I apologize for the wind sound, guys. I'm gonna hand catch this because it's just super windy. All right, you guys, man, had that wind. Let me stop this real quick. All right, you guys, well, Drocon, I appreciate you guys sending this out. It's not too bad of a drone. Let me get out of the sun here. It's not too bad of a drone. Uh, it's still toy grade, you guys. It's got the brushed motors. Uh, it's pretty much a SEMA X8 Pro is what it what it is. So, uh, but like I said, they updated the camera a little there. So, uh, but it definitely does perform a lot better than that that SEMA X8 Pro. Um, I'll leave a link up in the descriptions. You guys could see the the chaos that one created. It didn't have a mind of its own. So, all right. 
Anyways, guys, I sure appreciate you watching. Like always, God bless, cheers, and happy flying.